bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. I'm not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargon -y way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it.
Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. Uh, one down. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not good. this stuff. <laughs> Just a couple more barrels. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. That one. samples. Oh, oh, that one smelled. <laughs> Just a couple more. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha 
Got it. <laughs> One more should do it. <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't die. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. One down. Get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Safe. We can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider Man and his ilk rep. Pete, my mom was a big believer in the city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. I bet Jameson is going to lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story. I can't leave any of them. It just takes one to cause a blast. People in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. Wrecking these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily.
Okay. Better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's vented properly. Nary a peep from my spider sense. Maybe one's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. All units, we have received reports of a break-in. Please mobilize on Museum Mile. This is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Hey, Spider-Man, you turn this way. Me? You leave me alone already. I am not eager to repeat that. But jump the gun. It's not low enough. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Additional units requested to contain multiple hostile vehicles. Officers needed at Tribeca, please copy. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. 
And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get the ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. They have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway if the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us. And soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria.
beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. Didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the no- So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? It looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Looks good. Let's see.
Good. Looks good. Good. Ah, too much lag. Looks good. Let's see. working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. monitors the health of marine life and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it but the effects these diseases have they're just they are not something any living creature should go through looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish i better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish i just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. <sighs> Just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. <sighs> These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish, which is good. There's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. Barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them.
Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Fishies, this is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider Man, water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. Clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. Terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now, it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. There. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. Ow, ow, ow! That's the downside of all the... Down, but I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Drums were gonna burst, and soon that'll happen to everyone. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime! Got that one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. That again. 
Bam! Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. You night owls may have seen lights flickering out at the wrapped Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the ch- Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy this. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Mini-Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. webs to shock the screens into shutting down, and I don't have long to do it. Definitely a target-rich environment.
Someone should really bring back sign painting. Maybe someday there'll be a billboard of me that doesn't say menace on it. Explosions would make these ads more interesting. I always knew someday they'd weaponize tackiness. Phew, now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, bud? I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park, so that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park. You know, what to do. Okay. It's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. Proximity alarm? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! And if I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot! I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. He really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out of the world again. The 
This station may be safe, because it's helping test an Oscorp military application. Cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test in. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. And the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked, I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it. And I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. Drone, but your data lives on. Coming, did you? I'm always breaking stuff. Bites the dust. Scratch one drone. Are these armed drones even legal? Spidey strikes again. Stealth mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully, Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. 
Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth tech.